Sooner Scoop HD. What's that feel like? It's pretty cool, honestly. Uh, me and Kendall were talking about that last night about he was number one. But, you know, mine was cool, I guess. It was just kind of unfortunate I flipped over, but his was a little bit cooler. Can you describe going after that ball with just reckless abandon? Yeah, so, I mean, I honestly didn't even know it was the first pitch, like the third <laughs> inning. It kind of took me a minute to realize, damn, that was the first pitch. But, uh, yeah, I just saw it go up, and, you know, the wind was kind of pushing it, I think, but I thought I could get to it and, you know, be camped. And I got around the area, and I called them off, and, um, I didn't want to hold up on ESPN, you know, and do one of these, so I just kept going for it and uh, ended up falling over the wall. So, as many times as you watched it back, have you been surprised? Like, yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe I w you walked away. No, like, I feel fine. it now. You oh, know really? I mean, nothing crazy, but uh, yeah, I, I was just thinking, oh shit, I caught that ball, but uh, no, I got up and just jumped over. I should have went up the stairs. I don't know what I was thinking. I just hopped over the rail, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was cool of course, you didn't get any help from the uh, Notre Dame no, dog guy. I mean, Bertrand helped yeah, you up, I guess. Yeah, he tried to get in there and help. Uh, I actually uh, hit him up on Instagram and appreciate him for that. Uh, <laughs> just because, you know, I yeah. was fine. I mean, if that was me, I would get out of the way. Sure. That's my first reaction. But, you know, my feet were coming over, and he tried to help still. So I appreciate him for that. I thank him for it. So. How do you feel like your pitching sets up the rest of this tournament? Because you've had your two two main guys pro, and they've done they've gone deep into the game. Yeah, they definitely set the tone. They help us. You know, putting up zeros on the board definitely helps. Um, I think that that just uh, it sets the tone for the whole weekend. You know, it helps our bullpen out, especially when they get uh, strung out in the fifth and sixth inning. If they can keep going longer, it just uh, helps our bullpen in the back end and uh, just saves our pitching in general. So. Obviously, one way or another, you're, you're going to face a team on Wednesday that you already played and beat here. Does mm -hmm. that help for the guys a little familiarity knowing we saw them in that park and we already beat them once, so we can you know, go do it again? Yeah, you know, they're both good teams. Uh, we're not going to take them lightly. Uh, I think we're ready for whoever, honestly. Um, it's going to be fun playing both of them, so I'm excited for it. Now that you're here on this day, you've got some time to think about last night. Uh, you're sitting pretty at 2-0. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Five days ago, if you were in this spot, kind of what do you think you would be thinking to yourself knowing that you guys started about as good as you possibly could? Yeah, you know, it's it's definitely the start we wanted, but, uh, you know, the job ain't finished yet. We still have a couple games to get to the to win the whole thing. You know, we're still three three wins away, and uh, we just have to keep going one pitch at a time and uh, keep winning every pitch. So. What's it like being on the scene that's rolling right now? I mean, obviously, you guys have been playing well for yeah. a month now, yeah, maybe a month and a half. You know, it feels good. We're playing our best baseball at the right time, so... Uh, it was, you know, we started off a little rough, and you know, that's just kind of getting, you know, used to each other and knowing each other. And um, I think we've meshed as the year went on, and uh, I think that our play is showing. So, for you at the plate, is it just as much just trying to stay in rhythm, find something for you? Yeah, I'm just trying to get back in the groove. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. So tomorrow should be or Wednesday. Whenever we get out there, I'm gonna be looking forward. And to the lineup so. as good as you guys have been, though. Yeah. You're not having to put too much pressure on yourself. No, no. I just these guys are picking me up. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I trust all my teammates to pick me up. So if I, if I don't get it, if I don't get the job done, somebody else will. So. I know you guys are used to playing away from home. It's, it's been a while since you played at yeah. Central Park. Uh, but you know, the last few weeks when you play that series over the weekend, you've had a chance to go back home mm -hmm. and kind of reset. But obviously now. You don't get to do that. Yeah. Does that change your routine? Does that matter at all going into this week? Uh, uh, like you said, we've been on the road, I think, 17, 18 games. I think we're used to it. I like being on the road. Um, you know, it was fun beating Florida and VTech at their own place. You know, it's always nice to have a home crowd, but it feels a little better beating somebody at their own place. So, But it's better, obviously, in this situation to not go. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, so obviously, you know, the, yeah. we're enjoying our days off, you know. Um, we just got to keep staying in rhythm and keep feeling good. Sooner Scoop HD.